Hi guys, my name is Mark and I watched into the future of great mouse pads and mouse mats and this role didn't show me one and I explain you why. Let's go. So if you know this role, you know the pad. It's the extra five GPZ1 size damage and Yes, it's damaged. Um, that's me. My logo. Some of you know it. At first I want to talk about the box and how it comes to you. It comes for 20 US dollar shipping. And if you are in Germany, you, play, you pay nearly 50 US dollar for the pet and 20 for the shipping. Sorry guys. That's it. Uh, I just need to... Um, I just need to mix up US dollars and euros, you know, because I was um, calculating it in euro in my head and uh, I need to tell you in US dollar. Um, for the euro guys, it's still expensive, it's still over 60 euro, you can buy your artisan pet for this. Small hand, uh, buy your artisan pet. So we just start, um, it came, comes in the box here, it's, the box is briefly small and thin, long, and then the pet is in this roll. And the roll is, I don't know why you put this pet into the roll, the roll is very stiff. It's a hard roll nearly, yeah. And uh, the box gives you some information about the pet, like a lot of boxes do. Then you have this, the rocket here from Quake, which is kind of the icon of Rocket Jump Ninja. And, um, hmm. okay. So it comes. I put it out of the box and it looks like, I don't know, it looks still like a roll. Um, I posted this on Twitter on the November 2nd and today it's November the 12th. So there were 10 days where I tried to flat this pet with um, weights and with some temperature and um, yeah, I put some a, a Wooting keyboard and two Ducky Mesha Minis on it. Um, to get it flat, it was laying the whole time on um, in a room where the um, floor is um, or where the floor has and floor heating, so it became some heat from from the floor and pressure from top. And still, after ten days laying on a heated floor, it's still not laying flat on the desk. It still has like. It's still like it's wavy on most of the corners. Only the corner on the down left side is flat. All the other corners are still like wavy a little bit. Here, down right. And there's no way you can flatten it out. It's like, I don't know. Maybe it's cause of the, the, the cloth, uh, the cloth itself they use for the, for the pad. Of course, the cloth looks like uh, it is a very heavy cloth, it means um, it's very tight uh, stitched and there's a lot of material on um, um, low diameter, um, which totally would make sense when you have it the first time in hand and you feel it. Um, but I can tell you for like over 40 US dollars, nearly 50 US dollars, the quality um, or the, the the way the pet should behave or the way the pet should lay down or flat out after 10 days needs to be different. Or they just sand it flat, produce it flat, sand it flat. I don't know. Maybe some people at ExtraFi need to overthink something. Maybe that this kind of package isn't adequate anymore or time is gone for these packages and you just send them flat. I mean, it's customer care and customers like it. And we see Skypad even sending a very big pad now, like it's, what is it, 40 by 40, 50 by 50 or something now in a big box. And this wouldn't, it would be around three kilos or something here to send it flat, so why they don't do it? At the end, that's their problem. I can tell you for this pricing, the behaving is bad, then you just watch the website, the pictures here, you see on the website, um, on the first side, they look very cool, very nice stitching, cool logo, um, very cool pad, but if you 
really watch the site and you understand what you see there, you see these pictures are only mock-ups or 3D, uh, 3D graphics. These are no, no real pictures. None of these pictures they show here, the product pictures are real. You see this by the shine, by how it looks, by how the texture looks. And when you compare the, the, the stitching of the edges, it's, it has no similarity at all. It's a completely different stitching. I don't know, man. I have no idea what they show me here and what I have here. Then maybe I ordered the, the wrong pack. I have no clue, guys. At the end, there are a lot of claims here on the site. Um, a lot of stuff. They tell you what Zai was thinking or what he, what, what, uh, where. No, how can I say it? Um, Zai will tell you his intentions about producing or choosing this fabric. So producing the pad by choosing this fabric and making it four millimeter thick, 46 broad and 40, uh, 40 centimeters high. That's briefly a normal standard size for L pads. For me, it's an M pad. For me, an L pad is 50 by 50 now. And nowadays, it's 2021 and sizes matter on the desk. People want to play bigger sizes want to have space, want to have like a good feeling and these small pads for like 50 US dollar, nearly 50 US dollar are way too expensive. I think the production price is like 6 US dollar and they have a huge bargain on this pad so I don't know man. A bigger pad only would cost like I'm producing like 2 to 5 US dollar more and people would be way more happy but that's another story here. Um, Zai is talking about, so Rocket Jump Ninja is talking about um, he had a lot of materials and a lot of pets to test. Um, he, he made this video here where he showed um, all kind of surfaces they sent to him. Like, I don't know how many he said. Yeah, so he showed a lot of surfaces here. Um, basically, everything looks like it's cloth. Um, I see different sizes, uh, different thicknesses. Um, Totally classic cloth. At the end, cloth pads um, are basically only influenced by the way they are woven, by the mass, so by the way of the structure on a diameter, and by the finishing. Finishing, for example, like the Fanatica is done with like those heat transfer, the vulcanization of the pad, which make it more durable and a little bit rougher, a little bit more micro-control abilities. But this pad is totally cloth, no um, special stuff, no coating, nothing. Very heavy, um, a, lot of, a lot of cloth on one diameter and it makes the pad very fluffy. It feels like, like a pad, like a chinchilla. It's like, yeah, like, like you, you, you pet something and it feels like yeah super smooth super fluffy and for your hand it's awesome i like the feeling to be honest i would i think i would don't know for my cat maybe it's good to sit down on the pet but for the thing he claims here he says he wants to do a pet which gives you a good oh he tested what i know he made 150 reviews i'm close to 150 pet reviews also guys um, he says he wants to do a pad which gives you a good speed in controlling, so in gliding and tracking. Also gives you a good start and stop feeling and gives you a good feeling when you do some smaller micro corrections on the pad. What I realized when I, when I tested the pad with a lot of different uh, mice, I have no clue why, but in reality the Zeiss Ray was the best performing mouse on the pad because of the glides, I think, and the way the glides are, are produced and how the, the, the size of the glides is chosen because I realized the smaller the glides and the more split, so the more friction or the, the amount of more friction you get by um, skates who are designed or made to have more angles and so more contact to the pad and not like a straight line for example um, the more problems uh, I felt you get whilst tracking for example 
Um, if you do 180 degree uh, centering on Kovax, you will have a very, very hard time to manage this because the your your glide, your aim, um, will like will stutter and it will break up. The glide itself will just get it feels like you get interrupted in the in the glide itself because the friction for me and the 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 feeling on the glides on small glides on for example also on the starlight with tiger eyes was kinda too high to maintain a constant very precise glide. Um, my score is only around eleven thousand points on uh, one eighty centering in Kovax. But it's still very decent, I think. Um, but I in immediately felt that the problem here is that the, the way the pet is made, the surface, the friction is way too high to play Apex for sure. So you could do one thing. You could just lower your in-game sense, for example, to have a longer way on the pet to maintain a better, longer glide or way on the pet to have better tracking feeling. But with this, there is another problem with the this aim fatigue you will have. Cause imagine you have a pet with a high friction, high overall friction, and a mouse which is like 60, 70 gram, and you wanna play eight hours on a very high level cause you're a streamer. I think you will get huge problems because um, the aim trigger will get this high by the low sense on a game like Apex or Warzone that you will not perform the last six hours as you performed on the first two because on the first two you super focus, you super euphoria, you just wanna you just wanna click, you know, you just wanna get them all and at the beginning the pad because of the, the stability the pad gives you of the secureness, of the slowness the pet has, it looks like you're performing better. I can tell you your microcontrol will get worse, but at the end your overall secureness will look more or better to you. The start and stop points, the flicks will look better for you when you play pump gun or um, one-click weapons. It will look way, way, way better for you, but it will not be the same for the next 8 or 12 hours playing for a long-term stream. Because the aim fatigue will kick hard. It will just put you out of this world and your aim will decrease very fast. And when he was talking about why he shows this material, he was saying something like on his own Twitter account um, that he, he realized that this surface was the best to uh, make his aim even secure and he makes way more damage with this pad. Okay. How many hours today he plays? On which level did he play? On which level of skill did he test? How did he test? Which game? Which weapon? Because on this video here, when I watch this, give me a second, here, there's this scene where he tries to track something. I don't want to offend someone. That's not tracking. That's not even close to track someone. Maybe it's only for the video here and here it says it's all about the surface, maybe it's only for the video or he just wants to make a recording for, for this clip here or whatever. But honestly, if I want to sell a pet where I say you can track, flick and click, whatever, why you do this scene here out of in Quake where it looks like you want to track someone but you don't hit him. What's this? And the guy here looks like it's a bot, an NPC. Sorry guys, that's not it. I can tell you. From my 4,500 hours only, I have an Apex, which I maintain to get Predator two times, five times Master, and uh, I also were able to get uh, Solo Q Immortal in Valorant with a fucking uh, Corsair pet. I can tell you this pet will only do one thing for you. It will empty your bank account. That's all, guys. I show you some other pets now which may are close in the overall behaving to this pet. We start with the pet the most people mentioned at first. It was like the Sovi GSR. Here's the Sovi GSR. Um, is it equal? No. 
why I can tell you GSR is a little bit rougher, um, the structure is also a little bit rougher. Um, I think even the glide on the GSR feels better because the fluffiness on these uh, on the damaged pad is damaged and is damaging your tracking. So um, I would even say that the Sovi is better, to be honest. Um, and if you know my Sovi GSR pad review, you know I think it's the worst, one of the worst pads you can buy. I know a lot of people out there like it and love it. Um, what do we have here? Ah, the Odin Eclipse um, costs the half, I think, of this pet here and performs as double as good. Why? Because um, the Odin Eclipse has one big, big, big advantage. You can linearly track on a very good level with low fatigue. That's one, one real advantage of this Eclipse compared to these um, extra five pet here. Then we have here, ah, here. My, my Valorant Immortal pad, um, that's in the Corsair 200 Pro. Um, I played this solo queue with my um, non-wireless, so my wired HTS was easy, totally okay. Awesome pad. Yes, it's a coated, but basically feels not as fluffy as the size, so at the, at, uh, like the damage, but it's still a little bit fluffy. But the glide, so the, the, the tracking abilities, cost of the coating are way higher and it's water repliant. Then we have the GP4. That's the last pet uh, extra fire we're releasing before this one came. Basically, we all know the rubber bag isn't the best. Um, this is the black one, it's non-coated. Uh, the ones with graphics on it are coated. It also has a lot of problems with laying flat on the desk. A lot of people reported it. The edges are not good. Also here, the edges are not perfect. When I see the edges here, it's like here you have a floor and um, there was also one point over here where it looks a little bit flawed, to be honest, and not for six US dollar total. So this one is way rougher than the, the damage, but basically, to be honest, that's like, it's the grandfather of this one. <sighs> I don't know. I don't see an, an real evolving and there are tons of cloth pad out there. And to be honest, just buy an Eclipse or buy a Focus 3. I focus the, the new Focus from Fnatic over there. Watch my Fnatic review Focus or the Eclipse review. Two way better pets for less money, which are very good. They're both different, but they're very good. There's no need to buy this pet. It's a waste of money because the performance isn't good. If you're a fanboy and think I'm a fucking idiot, okay, I don't fucking care. I have 80 pets here. I've played so many pets, I tested them all. I tested them with Final Mouse, with G Pro, with Zaunkönig. What do you want to tell me? I play 8 to 12 hours a day. I think I can give a brief overview about my opinion here on this channel. And I've done this right now. I think the pet is one of the worst cloth pets which came out this year. I know a lot of people would disagree, but believe me, it is. And for me, <laughs> normally when a pet is good, I say, this pet is der Wahlgibt Strahl approved, but this time I would say, we make a new series on this channel. In Germany, we say, pets die man braucht, so uh, pets no one needs. And um, the extra five Zeiss damage is the first pet in this category, too expensive, Criterias are not matching with the formulations and the uh, claims on the um, PR stuff. And for me, it's just wasted money. Buy an Artisan Zero, buy an Eclipse, buy a Focus. Be happy, don't buy this. Thanks for watching. If you think I'm an idiot, tell me here below. But please leave a sub, because I only will answer if I see you subbed. Even if you insult me, I don't care. Thanks for watching. See you on the next clip, guys. Bye-bye.